Welcome back to the homeowner series. It's a beautiful day here at the house. It's just over 86 degrees with sun overhead and a little windy. Over the last 12 hours I have done a few big improvements. Let's take a quick update here before we get going on the list of things for today. Looking at the front of the house here, we do have a brand new front door. It came in last night and I installed it. only took a few hours. I really do like the style here of it. Definitely matches the house. Really do like the big windows and the overall design. Now with the new hardware here and the new hinges, it actually opens inward, uh, which is pretty realistic for a front door. Now I was also able to tackle the big project on replacing all three garage doors and look at that they are completely installed so new doors, new rails and new motors. Uh, our previous doors were kind of wearing out and the windows were pretty much in the center so they're up top now really do like that. I really do like these small kind of uh, hinges on the side as well kind of give it a little bit of kind of a farm feel so let's get these doors open now we do a full sounds with them as well. That does uh, sound pretty cool and we do have the rail in here which is very nice. Let's get this door closed. So on the list of things uh, to do today is to extend the driveway. I really want to make it probably around 2 to 3 feet wider just to kind of match up here with the edge of the trailer port. I also do want to pick up a few yard tools and then we will be mowing our lawn. This will be our second time mowing. I just have been trying to give it some time to grow and especially since uh, having newer sod. We don't want to mow it too often uh, since they really do need to kind of root into the ground. Why don't we first go pick up the new weed eater and the leaf blower and I think we'll take the wife's Ford Raptor. I'm really excited to be back here with the homeowners here. It's definitely a very busy day, a very busy weekend here for us because tomorrow we are buying land and building our ranch which is very exciting. If we do have a bit of time after all the projects today, we'll take the GT3 for a spin. We'll definitely have some fun with that, but only if we can get everything done. So let's get this backed out here. Do we want to watch the uh, tremor there, but we should be able to squeeze out. Perfect. Really do like this Ford Raptor here. Really want to drive it more and more as uh, even a grocery getter. It's quite a lot of fun. Now if you guys are new here to the channel, I do ask that you please subscribe. We are growing, growing faster and faster every single day. Now I don't think we will have to fold the bed cover just because the weed eater should fit in it as well. Now this Raptor here is a bit sporty with that 3.5 EcoBoost and it is pretty fast, almost kind of a sports car acceleration as well and I believe it's just under 5 seconds. So they should have the weed eater here uh, for us ready to go and it looks like they do not so we'll probably wait here for a few minutes and they'll bring it out to the uh, truck. Alright I just got the weed eater let's put it here in the bed. Right there seems to be good. And let's put the leaf blower here in the bed. And there we go guys, we just picked up both of those, that was just over, I think it was $600 between the two. Now I did decide to go with the still uh, weed eater, it was a bit more, just over $300 for that. The leaf blower was quite a bit as well, and I did get uh, some oil for the gas mixture and also some weed eater line. If you guys have not already, I do recommend you go give me a follow over on Instagram. I am posting every single day over there and also giving guys some sneak peeks about the channel. Now I am very excited for tomorrow buying land and building the brand new ranch. Now a few of you guys pretty much have it right on point on what the extra surprise about the ranch will be. But our house looks so sweet. It's just a lot of fun to even just drive up and down the driveway looking at the house. But here we are and we'll just leave the uh, tailgate open here for us and uh, we'll get the weed eater when it's ready to go. But why don't we head on uh, to the backyard. We'll stop by, give Diesel a few treats and grab the 1025R. Now the pool filter has been working pretty hard lately with all of the pollen and it really has been cleaning it pretty well. And Diesel I think was waiting here for us, let's kind of get through the gate a little bit tight and let's give him a bowl of food. 
Now, I have been here at the gazebo quite a lot lately and really have been enjoying it. Uh, putting a few lights up at night looks awesome. Let's grab the 1025R and get going on extending the driveway. I think this will definitely improve it, making it a little bit easier here for us. And uh, getting to the 1025R is a bit tricky sometimes. Now, more than likely, I will be updating this to the newer 1025R that was uh, on uh, the public sites. Really do like this 1025R. We put a ton of hours on it since buying it. And I, I think that these are very versatile tractors. They do look pretty cool. So what I want to do here, let's just uh, kind of take a quick overview. I want to scrape up all this, put dirt down. We'll put the pavers, put the edging down. And then I also want to... Uh, continue uh, the mulch bed all alongside here and uh, that will look nice so the mulch bed will go all the way to the end of the trailer port and maybe if you guys would like we could wrap it all the way around but I think for now we'll just kind of bring it uh, to the back here so we'll definitely have to move this and I think uh, we could do it uh, with uh, just the uh, tremor to do that and actually we'll move it up onto the driveway actually why don't we do that now that would give us a little bit more room that way it's out of the way and we are bringing that over to the ranch as well since uh, we won't be storing that here anymore. I hope everyone's been having a great day so far. Let me know how it is down below. My day has been pretty awesome. Done a few things here at the house. And I have been working on this map quite a lot lately. And making really good headway. Lots of farm fields. Some pretty cool features about it as well. That I'm very excited to kind of showcase in some upcoming videos. And I think I have manual attaching installed. I'm not exactly sure. But looks like I don't. So there we go. Let's get this. Move it out of the way. Now mowing our lawn is going to be quite a lot of work here for us. It's like an hour or two just to mow and we do have a pretty big mower as well. So we'll just leave the uh, tremor here in the driveway. I don't think we'll have any problems uh, just leaving that uh, for the next few hours. But let's hop in the deer and let's get going on removing this and uh, putting the pavers in. Now I pretty much call them uh, patio paver driveway, but it's just kind of uh, stone uh, pavers to be more specific. So let's get this down and let's see. We'll get the buck down just enough to scrape up and we'll uh, get going here on it. Two, three passes is all we really need for this. Awesome, so we got that and one more. And look at that, looks like we are ready to go here for the pavers. And I think we'll probably only do one more section, probably four or five pavers wide. And I think it will pretty much line us up here with this. So let's hop into the store, get those plays along with the edging. And here we go, looks like we are just wide enough here for it, which is perfect. And I am trying to be as careful as we can here, making sure uh, that we are right on point. So far, I've really been enjoying this house here with the homeowner series. Definitely a big improvement from our previous one on Nebraska. And this uh, house has been coming together quite a lot lately. Lots and lots of projects. And uh, definitely uh, busy weekends here for us. But it's awesome, though, that we can improve the property, increase the value of it. And hopefully when we sell it, we can get a good buyer. Now my new microphone here is on order. It is back ordered so hopefully it comes in soon as well. There's just quite a lot of shipping delays and we'll get these placed. Probably six, seven more here and then we are good to go. Perfect, so that pretty much lines up there. And let's get these edge pieces in place. This will really help out, really clean it up quite a bit. And I think we'll just continue this here to contain the gravel from getting in the mulch beds. 
And let's do the last edge piece. Perfect. Last up, let's get going here on putting in the mulch. Just wide enough there. That seems to be pretty good. Wow. This was a pretty big project. Even a little bit bigger than what I was thinking. Lots and lots of work uh, goes into doing these little projects. Even though they don't take that much time. So last thing we'll do here is add a few plants along the side. And we're going to be finished. Here we go with these plants. We'll probably put one more there. We do want to leave a little bit of room for the basketball hoop. And, oh yes, one more. And that's it. Here is a finished project, you guys. Since we extended it just around six feet, that gives us quite a lot of more room. So the last thing we'll do here is move the basketball hoop into the new corner, and then we'll go switch over to the uh, lawnmower and get going. And I think uh, we'll be uh, putting that lawnmower to work probably for the next two, three hours to mow. But the yard is a little bit shorter since the last time we mowed. Since we do have the new driveway, the new landscape beds, and also the new swimming pool in place. Let's go get the uh, 1025 hour parked up. I'm thinking we are putting on average probably around four to five hours on this tractor every single week. So it's definitely getting used and just not sitting here in the shed. And that's also a big thing. I really want to work the equipment, not just uh, have them here for uh, kind of looking at. Let's hop here in the hustler. Hasn't been turned on in about a week. And let's get the Super Z ready to go. It's a tight squeeze leaving here, but we are making it work. Let's make sure the mower deck is lowered here, and let's get mowing. Perfect. Now I'm very excited for my brand new microphone. Like I have touched upon, it is on back order. Hopefully, I should have a new setup within the next few weeks. And we do want to make sure we mow the property line correctly. But the Hustler is such a great mower here. It's very efficient and gets mowing quite a lot. So let's switch over here to the front. And oh yeah, we are right here on the property line. Perfect. We'll first want to outline it. And then I think we'll just work on this side here. Now I really do enjoy mowing, it's just nice and relaxing and it's uh, just cool that you could really see your progress in real time and pass after pass. Now having the zero turn here, other than maybe even just using the 1025R, it's just a lot easier to mow with. And uh, I will have to say that for moving, turning around in our house, oh, almost, almost uh, took out the corner of our deck on that. Didn't really see that. Now we do have to do some more walkways here, especially to the pool area, but let's mow right up against the fence. Now I am making sure I am shooting all the grass away from it into the yard instead of onto uh, the uh, patio. Uh, that wouldn't be a good thing and I think diesel will be kind of running out of the way here. Now these pavers uh, for the small walkway are actually in the ground a bit just a little, uh, little so we don't have to worry about that. Wow, mowing around this is quite a lot of work but it's also nice and uh, we'll have a nice looking yard when we are complete. Just nice and slow, really want to take our time, do a good job, uh, since we mow every few weeks. Now if you do have any cool ideas here for the homeowner series, please let me know. Uh, we will be moving to three videos a week here with a new ranch as well, possibly four if you guys really do like it that much, uh, because that new ranch is going to be probably one of the biggest, funnest things uh, we will be uh, kind of doing. We'll probably mow half the yard and then we'll call it a day, grab a little bit of lunch, and then I'll uh, catch you guys next week. Oh, this will be a tight squeeze in here. Did not really plan this like this, and whoa, definitely we'll have to reconsider. And I think we'll be able to squeeze in. No, we can't. So that's something. We might have to remove this tree, and there seems to be quite a lot of dead branches on it, so we might actually remove that. Uh, we might have to because that's a little too close to the fence. We do not want any trees that kind of are about to uh, fall uh, and uh, kind of hurt anyone or damage anything. So we'll probably have to call up the tree company to remove it. Now I actually do want to do a few tree services videos soon. Haven't done one in uh, quite a few weeks and I think that would be a lot of fun to get back there cutting trees uh, and just making some money. Well, I will mow around the shed later once I put the uh, deer back in the shed. Now let's get going here. I'm laying down some great uh, stripes here. Definitely probably the nice looking uh, property on the street as well. 
I do get quite a lot of compliments from others uh, in the surrounding neighborhoods who kind of walk this street and ride their bikes. Now this upcoming week here on the channel will be a pretty fun one. Lots and lots of cool videos including a few multiplayer and I will be trying to do more and more multiplayer for all of you guys. It's a lot of fun to record those and that will definitely be uh, pretty cool for the channel. Now using the steering wheel here with the mower is really helpful as well. It definitely improves the handling and uh, it is great. I really do like how this house is turning out. Remember guys, we bought this just the land. We built the house, built the garage, and did everything. So it's pretty cool to just see it all come together a few months after we kind of made the initial purchase. Almost done here with this side yard. So I think we'll get halfway done with the backyard and it will call it a day. It doesn't seem like we'll have any time here to take the GT3 for a spin, so maybe tomorrow we'll drive it up there to buy the land, or even uh, we'll uh, drive it next week uh, both days. But usually I, I just try to hop in and drive it, but not all the time uh, do I get to enjoy it. With working and doing projects around the house, it's not too much free time, uh, and the uh, free time that it is, it's kind of dark out, and I'm always playing farm sim. Now I do also want to do some more real life videos for all of you guys. I think that would be a ton of fun and something that I definitely am going to look forward to doing. Yeah, we'll do a few more passes here and then we'll call it a day. Now I do want to get some more patio furniture and some new furniture for in the house. Maybe a few new bed frames. I think that would be a pretty cool thing. So we'll definitely do some more things for the inside of the house. And I do have some paintings on the way as well. I did actually have a photographer take a few pictures of our trucks. And we'll be putting those on the wall. Maybe on the inside of the garage would be a pretty neat thing to do. But I think that's pretty much it here for today. I will finish this up here off camera once I put the camera down. But I hope you guys enjoyed today's video here with the Homeowner Series. Thanks for watching. Stay tuned for the next one and subscribe for more.